Hi everyone, Pete Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So in this quick video, I would like to show you how you can place a 3D body on a PCB component footprint. By the way, if you want more hints like this, feel free to join my free community. It's in the links below. Now imagine that you have a connector. If you look at the CAD models, what you see over here is there's a PCB footprint available, a schematic footprint, but no 3D model. Now, how can we solve this? Typically, by the way, it's difficult to find one these days without a 3D model. But anyway, I want to show you how you can fix it. So let's go to the manufacturer's website. If I go down, uh, typically what we will find is step files. Uh, this is what you will need. In our case, we have the footprint exactly as where it has to be. There's parts, uh, there's bigger parts, smaller parts, there's holes. We have everything we need. Um, but now we need to place a 3D body. So how do you do that? You go to place 3D body. And then you just select your step file. Now what you'll see is more or less it matches already, but we'll have to verify this in 3D. So let's put that on here. If I look at it in 3D view, it seems to be okay. Of course, we need to verify the directions as well, but everything seems to be fine in this case. So like this, very easy way to add your component. Uh, the color is an override over here. So now you have the good color as well. Should you be in a case where it is not correctly imported, where you maybe have something like this, then of course, this is not what you want to use. You need to be rotating that. So ideally, the best way to do that is you go to the 3D view uh, over here, then you start playing with these rotation values. So if I rotate it like this, this is what we need. And then the same thing around the Z axis, we can rotate. By the way, if you want to place it like this, could probably be that pin one for some reason is another place you can do that as well. But like this, it matches up completely, I would say. No, not exactly. We need to um, place it a bit more to the side. So you can do that again in 3D view. Sometimes it's easier to do it in 3D view. Sometimes it's easier to do it in a 2D view. But basically like this, you have the exact footprint that you need. There's a 2D footprint that matches the data sheet and you have your 3D body exactly where you want it to be. So very quick video to show you how you can put a 3D body on a component a PCB component footprint. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And of course, as always, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like the content. As I indicated, there's also a free community available with more hints and videos like this. Feel free to join. The link is in the subscriptions below. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a very nice day. Bye. -bye.